Finally tonight, an emotional family reunion. We've been following the story of Sebastien Belin, a former pro basketball player who lives in Michigan. He was badly injured in the Brussels terror attacks back in March. More than five weeks later, he finally got to hug his girls. You're about to die, and you just, you're like, no, 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 no. And when we first met no, Sebastien Belin two days after the attacks, he told us it was his two daughters that gave him the strength to survive. I'm thinking, I, I got to make it. 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 I got to see my daughters again. I, I got I to see my girls. Where are you going now? To the hospital. 41 days later, he finally got his wish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 What's up? Bele, his wife Sarah, and their two kids were together again. I didn't want them to grow up without a dad. You know, everything worked out. Everything worked out for the best. You know, I, I'm keeping my legs, I'm alive, and my, my two little girls just uh, walked into the room. So everything's going to be all right. Girls, come here. I haven't had enough hugs. Seven-year-old Cecilia and four-year-old Vanessa quickly made themselves at home. Glued to you. I'm getting glued to you. Climbing on their dad and coloring his cast. Dad. Dad. <laughs> they had Skype with their father from their home in Michigan. But Sunday marked the first time the girls saw him in person. I think kids need to touch to see the actual cast, to touch it. You know, it, they see that their dad is getting better. In the month since the bombs left Belin broken and bleeding on the airport floor, he's undergone five surgeries, and his recovery is progressing well. But reflecting on what happened is still difficult. Life is just, you know, it's, it's on threads. It's, um... <sighs> you, need, you need a lot of luck in these situations. Luck and his family by his side. When you get out of something like this alive, you feel pretty confident. You feel pretty confident that you can over overcome anything. Because if, if, if you can beat this, you can beat anything. Seb told me after the attacks, all he thought about was his daughters growing up without a father. He survived and it's so great to see him with the girls. That is the CBS Weekend News for this Saturday. The news continues now on our 24-hour digital network, CBSN, at cbsnews.com. More later on your local late-night news and tomorrow on CBS Sunday Morning. I'm Vladimir Dutier in New York. For all of us at CBS News, thanks for joining us and good night.